Hello everybody, this is the fastest and simplest way to begin using mods for Risk of Rain 2. If you've seen my previous video, know that it is still accurate, just I highly recommend using a mod manager instead of manually dealing with them, as it will save you tons of time and stress by essentially doing all the work for you, especially if you've had any issues using mods in the past. To install R2 Mod Man, head over to its Thunder Store page, a link is in the description below, and simply click Manual Download. This will download a zip file, unzip it, and then run the exe. You don't need any other file here. Follow the prompts and when choosing the installation location, you can put it anywhere except for inside of the Risk of Rain 2 directory. Save it on your desktop and a special folder and a special drive wherever you want, just not where you have the game installed. Once you launch R2 Modman, you'll begin here on the profile screen. You can either use the default profile or make your own. We'll cover profiles more at the end of the video. Then to add mods, simply click the online tab and voila, you can browse every single mod that's available on Thunderstore directly in the manager itself. Click a mod that you want, hit the download button, and wait for it to finish and that's all there is to it. Some mods may have dependencies which are other mods that it requires to function properly but don't you worry R2 Modman also downloads any and all dependencies for you automatically. It's like magic. Also if you need extra information on a mod you can click this button and be brought to its Thunderstore page where you can see the mod in its entirety. Speaking of Thunderstore if you find the manager's browser a bit small or cluttered you can also install mods directly from Thunderstore into the mod manager by clicking the install with mod manager button instead of manual install install. Be sure to allow your internet browser access to Modman if prompted. After installing all of the mods that you want, hit the start modded button in the top left, wait for Risk of Rain 2 to boot up, and bam, you're now playing modded Risk of Rain 2. To update any mods, you can either go manually through each one and hit the update button, or under settings, use the update all function. Note that if Risk of Rain 2 has received an update itself, every single mod that you have must be updated by their creators before they will work on the game's current patch. That means you might have to wait a little bit. For some mods, you can tweak their settings inside of the config file. To do this, click the config editor and find the mod you want to edit. If you don't see the mod you're looking for, launch the game with the mod enabled and close the game after you reach the title screen. Risk of Rain 2 must be ran at least once with the mod enabled for the config file to generate. You do not need to do config edits on a regular basis, and before you make any changes, please read the mod's Thunderstore page for any documentation on the config settings. Finally, one last thing here. To quickly share mods with your friends, you can use the profile sharing tools, which are also under settings. To quickly share your current profile with all of its mods and config files, use the export as a code option, then share that generated code to anyone who wants it, and they simply hit the import button on the profile screen to paste it. Boom, mod sharing at its easiest. All right, that's everything you need to know about R2 Modman. If you have any issues, I've left a link to the Risk of Rain 2 modding discord in the description. Join it and use the tech support channel to get assistance. There's also a link to my discord, which we have a couple savvy modders in there, but you should probably use the official one. Thank you for watching.